Time to get into to some developing news now. Crime involving children is sadly something that we're hearing more about lately. One of the most recent cases we've talked about involved a 10-year-old boy accused of shooting another boy his own age. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo joins us live in the studio this morning. So, Bridget, why aren't there more consequences for crimes involving minors like this? Well, Walt, in a number of these recent cases, young people accused of violent crimes are not facing charges because of their age. It's partly due to a new law passed a few years ago called Senate Bill 1391, which takes away a DA's authority to request a minor be transferred from juvenile court to adult criminal court if they commit a serious offense as a minor. We've seen this happen in the case of KJ Frierson, the 10 year old boy shot and killed while playing in his neighborhood. He was just riding his bicycle. Police believe another 10 year old boy pulled the trigger, but that child is now back at home. His father, the only one facing charges in connection with the shooting death. We sat down with Sacramento County District Attorney Tin Ho, who said in many of these cases, he's limited in how he can respond. The biggest challenge that we're facing now in our juvenile system in California is really a lack of tools to hold juveniles who commit violent crimes truly accountable. So if you have a 15-year-old that is two days or one day short of 16 and they commit a school shooting, they commit a murder, um, you can't prosecute them. can't prosecute them as an adult. And if you can't prosecute as an adult, then there's a lesser punishment attached to it. So the concern is if teens know they're not going to be punished or not punished harshly for the crimes, the violence will only continue and families of victims will never get justice. Another example in our area, the case of J.J. Clavo, a Grant Union High School football player who was killed uh, by a 15-year-old back in 2015. This was a big story. D.A. Ho's office uh, prosecuted the case, but when the law changed in 2019, J.J.'s killer could no longer be charged as an adult. So he was going to face 50 plus years to life in prison for committing that murder and shooting somebody else, an ambush style killing. And instead, he only got seven years. At the age of 23, he was released from jail and is now walking free while his mother, Nicole Clavo, faces a life sentence of having lost her son. And there's been consequences since that law was passed. The DA says his office has seen an increase in juvenile crime overall, especially violent crime involving handguns. Those cases jumped 74% between 2022 and 2023. Armed robberies involving minors also up by 35% in that same time period. And Walt, you can hear it in the DA uh, Ho's uh, voice, mm -hmm. the frustration there. But he says a lot of times his hands are tied. The laws are what they are. Not much he can do to change it. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the JJ Clavo situation. That was particularly disturbing. Just getting some food with his teammates before they played a football game. So uh, yeah, some, some changes on the way, hopefully. Bridget, uh, thank you for looking into the story today.